All right, this video is kind of a rant, but it's a really, really good, let me make sure I'm not getting my head cut off here, it's good. It's a really, really good rant because it's about being a loser. And I'm gonna give you some sort of blueprints to ask yourself, you must ask yourself these questions and these statements whether you are a loser or not. Because if you are a loser, then you'll be 60, 70 years old one day and you'll realize that you're still a loser and then it's too late to do anything, unfortunately. You might be okay even at 70, but you better start today. So let's get into that. Four reasons why some men, maybe most, will always stay losers. One, they're too afraid to push themselves. Now, usually a person is too afraid to push himself when he cares about what other people think. People pleaser. You know, I read this book recently called The Courage to be Disliked. Amazing book. Then I read a book called I Hope I Screwed This Up. Amazing book. And one thing I learned is if you want to be happy in life, you have to have the courage to be happy. You have to have the courage to be disliked because honest to God, happy people are disliked because the evil inside people doesn't like to see happy because it makes them feel insecure. Stop being a people pleaser today. First reason. Now, if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and expect this different results, you're insane, as Einstein told us. And this is one thing you wanna ask yourself. Are you doing the same thing every day? The same boring shit every day and suffering? Well, you're gonna to continue to suffer. So you gotta change, you gotta transform. And I'm gonna get into that soon. Now, get out of your comfort zone. If you're not doing the cold showers, if you're not jumping to the ice lake, if you're not doing the extended fasting, if you're not approaching the girls you like, if you're not going out there and getting the job you want or the business you wanna start, you're not getting out of your comfort zone and you will not be happy. It's fake. Your ego's got you by the balls. This is the second reason. Now, let me get into more of this. In the Aphrodite Academy, I always talk about this, uh, having a little bit of pain. Not so much pain. If you've never taken a cold shower, don't just go in there and take a cold shower, like jump into a cold lake. No, start little by little. The zone of proximal development. It's the zone which you can go into what's difficult and not too boring. And it's not too difficult, so you give up. So keep climbing that mountain little by little. Don't ever look for the quick fix. This is getting into the second reason of why you're a loser. If you're looking for the quick fix, if you're looking for a reason to be lazy or to not do something, if you're looking for a magic pill all the time, the magic diet, the magic exercise, the magic whatever love potion, it's a sign of being a loser. Sorry. Um, okay. If you have a mediocre life right now, you may not even know it. You know, when I was doing my PhD, I was, my ego had me by the ball so hard that I rarely stepped to the unknown. Dude, getting a PhD for me is easy. I'm a really smart dude. I'm a smart motherfucker. Like I was top in math, science, all this stuff as a kid. So for me, getting a PhD in neuroscience, it's impossible for most people for me it was easy well it wasn't my comfort zone it was my comfort zone i was not out of my comfort zone then now i am big time in ukraine by the way but get out of that easy comfort zone third you want a guarantee there is no guarantee if you want to guarantee stay at home and don't do anything just watch tv all day play video games all day the only guarantee in life that you have is to put yourself into the unknown. And if you always put yourself into the unknown, the shock, the surprise, when you are caught off guard, that is the only guarantee you have of getting your purpose. Because we don't really know shit, man. 
Like you can think all you want, like you know your plan and you know what you're gonna do in five years, 10 years, your job. You don't know shit. Like none of us know anything. The one guarantee that you have is to put yourself into the unknown and just face what happens. Tell the fucking truth. Don't be a people pleaser. Follow your heart. Tell your truth. Always. 100%. Okay. Now. If you are a loser, one thing that you want to think about is what are your idols doing? The alpha males, the, the guys who are at the top of the male dominance hierarchy, as Jordan Peterson calls it. What are they doing that you're not doing? Are they watching TV? Are they watching Netflix? These are guarantees. When you watch Netflix, like it's a guarantee, you're safe. You're just at home doing nothing. You're just garbage stimulation in your brain. Not all Netflix is like that, but most of it is. So ask yourself this question. Do you feel that you are a transcendental masculine being that has perhaps transcended the hierarchy or is at the top of the hierarchy? Ask yourself these questions. Um, the more risk you take, the more into the unknown you go, I'm guaranteeing you the happier you'll be. And this has to do with girls, with muscles, with money, it has to do with everything. Get your ass into the unknown, no guarantees. Fourth reason, and this is, I might get some shit for this, but I believe in it. Don't be slow. Don't go for this incremental change shit. Like, oh, I'm gonna, do this today and then I'll do a little bit more tomorrow. Man, it's gonna take you 20 years to get there. Get it done now. Today do the thing. Now, when I was struggling with girls, I got my ass to Vegas. I put myself into that uncomfort zone for a year. When I wanted to work out, I moved to a gym to learn weightlifting. When I wanted to start a business, I just did. I just started making YouTube videos. I just learned the marketing and started my own business and it's fucking huge, super successful now. I never expected this. I'm a scientist, man. But one thing I realized is you got to put yourself in a deep, like learn to swim while you're drowning. Transformational change, not incremental change. This is the fourth one. So if you're, if you're thinking that, oh, I'm the same, I'm not getting the incremental, I'm not getting the transformational change, it's because you are too safe. Okay? Now, Another example I'll give you about transformational change. When I got to strength camp, I was rarely working out. And at, in, during those eight months, I worked out six times a week. That foundation, even though it gave me a lot of pain, because my muscles were not used to that crazy intensive training, even though I got so much pain, I transformed in those eight months. Not just physically, but mentally. And it's all, a cyclical thing. You change physically, you're gonna change mentally. You change mentally, you're gonna change physically. Okay? So, go after transformational change. Um, you need to have the balls to do it, the courage, right? So at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself the question, do you have the balls to do it? It's that simple. To get transformational change, to get out of your comfort zone, to not be a people pleaser, at the end of the day, you gotta have the balls. So, to recap, four things to avoid being a loser. One, don't be a people pleaser. Two, stop looking at the quick fix, the magic pill. Three, stop needing a guarantee, go into the fucking unknown. And four, Stop going for incremental results. Go for the transformational 180 degree change. Okay? And again, all the free stuff is down below, man. Go read those books. This is what I followed for years. I'm giving them away to you for free. Like you want the transformational change. You want to reach Superman testosterone levels. You want to read about the Aphrodite Academy. That's down there. I mean, that's all the transformations. You know, guys increasing their testosterone by 253%. Like Jerome did. Um, so many guys doubled their testosterone, Cornell, Damien, Andre, um, I mean, it's just unbelievable. Ahmad Ikram recently, or Hussein, one of those guys, doubled it. I just saw a review. 
all the reviews are on Facebook. Go read, you know, almost 100 reviews of guys just killing it on Afro D and joining the academy. So yeah, man, all that's down below in the description. You can go check it out, go learn, grow, man, grow. Go for that fucking transformation change, transformational change. Um, you just gotta do it, man. Grow some balls, grow a pair, grow a fucking pair.